Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production directed by James Knight Cardan. Professor Porter and his party have escaped from the cannibal village, where they had gone to search for Jane, the professor's daughter. But the infuriated blacks, believing the white men have broken one of their tribal taboos, force them into the sacred temple cave where they are trapped. Seeing lights in the cave, Tarzan and Jean are about to effect a rescue when they hear the weird noise that presages the approach of the witch doctor. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Simple, Monsieur, it is simple, but 
there is really no strata to this rock formation. As you know, it is volcanic. Yes, yes, Donna. But what difference does that make? Quite a great deal, monsieur. We have, first of all, no way of knowing when the charge is set off which way the rock will fall. You mean, Lieutenant Colonel, that Danny and the rest of you must take a chance of being buried alive in there? Or crushed by the falling rock? Yes, Mademoiselle Jane. And also, you, monsieur, know as well as you are, that the place is full of lava, too, filled with silver fumes. That's true. And if the blast pierces one of them, we could easily be asphyxiated before we could get out. And there it is, monsieur. It is for you to choose. <laughs> but, but what a thing! Mademoiselle Jane would be in no danger. She could get away in plenty of time. How so? Mon little! But the charge! Set off in this feature from this side would do nothing. But why not, Francois? Too much space, mon lieutenant. I cannot get in to where the passage narrows. Tarzan can do it here. Yes, Jane? Does the dynamite have to be placed in the small space? It is hard to put in that space. But Tell him, Jane, talk too much. Waste time. Goldman Ganny will come back. Tarzan thinks. Tarzan says that you are wasting too much time in talking. The blacks may come back any minute. Tell us what has to be done, and we will do it. Please, please, I, I can't let you do it. No, no, certainly not. You cannot accept the take of the of your life. More talk. What now? Listen, Daddy, Cecil, all of you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Neither Tarzan nor I know anything about setting off dynamite. But if you don't hurry up and tell us what to do... We'll go ahead and try anyway. No, no, my dear. I forbid you. Uh, you do nothing of the sort. Why, you must be blown to pieces. All right. Don't be so stubborn. Tell us what to do. Well, no, no, my dear. I hate to make any suggestion. I, I shall leave the matter to you. There is no use doing that, Lieutenant. I have made up my mind. And Tarzan will do what I ask. Whatever James say, Tarzan will do. Very well. If there is dynamite in front of the cave, you will find it in a small box. The sticks are about six inches long, three quarters of an inch thick, and are wrapped in oil, brown pepper. You said something about fuse and cap. Yes, the fuse is black, like, almost like string. The caps are, but you must be careful of the caps. One little jar. You got them? And well... Don't worry. We'll be careful. What else? Just bring them all to the fissure. Then I shall tell you what to do. All right. Come, Tarzan. Dynamite. Dynamite. What is dynamite? Dynamite. Let me see. Dynamite. Well, we, uh, at least I think we do. We set fire to it. And it makes a big bang and blows a hole in the rock. Look, Jane. Big hole here. Tarzan helped Jane down. Thanks, Tarzan. My, you're strong. You lift me like a baby. Yes, Tarzan likes to lift Jane. Now, now, we won't talk about that. At least, not now. Talk about it uh, some other time, Jane? I think you did not in teasing me. Teasing? What is teasing? Well, we haven't time to talk about that either. But it's not very different from dynamite sometimes. Blow up, eh, Jane? Exactly. Look, Tarzan, do you suppose that is a box of dynamite? We can tell when we look. If anyone else but you, Tarzan, had said that, I would have said that it was sarcasm. Even if Lieutenant Dino said that the dynamite by itself is harmless, I I think I'd handle it a little more carefully, Tarzan. Tarzan, careful. Jane takes fuse. Tarzan carry dynamite and cap. I'd feel better if the dynamite and cap were carried separately. You take the dynamite. I'll take the cap. All right. Come quickly. Anytime, Goldman Ganny, we'll come back. Yes. Yes, you go ahead, Tarzan. I'll hand up the cap to you when you get on top of the boulder. Ready? All right, Tarzan. There. Now... Now, pull me up. Fine. Now, now, it won't be long. Here, Jane. Lieutenant! Here we are! Uh, now, Mademoiselle Jane, pay very close attention. Yes? Remember, no matter what happens, if the field is worth lighted, do not come back here. Even if the dynamite does not go off? I say, once the field is lighted, you go. Understand? And do not come back. Now... Be careful about my next instruction. Place one end of the fuse inside one of the caps. Here's one in the box. The cap is already on the fuse. Good. Now, place the cap inside the paper on one of the sticks. Here. That's it, Tarzan. Tarzan, hold it. Now, Jane. All right? Yes. What next, Lieutenant? Place the sticks, three of them, 
dynamite widen the fissure sufficiently to allow the party to escape, or will they be more hopelessly trapped by falling rocks? 